There is a brand new update available for those who love tinkering with Raspberry Pi computers. This update, released in March 2024, brings some exciting features, especially for anyone using the brand new Raspberry Pi 5. Think of a Raspberry Pi as a tiny, affordable computer that plugs into a TV or monitor. It's perfect for learning to code, building robots, experiment with electronics, or even turning your TV into a smart TV. This is the biggest news. This update finally adds support for the brand new Raspberry Pi 5. That means you can now install the operating system directly on your Pi 5 without an extra step or complicated setups. It's like plugging in a new phone and it just works. Previously, you could only install the Raspberry Pi operating system on a special SD card. Now, with this update, on models that allows it, you can install the OS on other storage devices like USB flash drives or even super fast NVMe drives. This gives you more flexibility and potentially more space for your projects. The update also increases the size of a special part of the storage called the boot partition. This part stores important files needed to start the Pi. With more space, there's more room for future updates and features without worrying about running out of space. After installing the OS on your Raspberry Pi 5, you can choose to switch to a special kernel, specifically designed for the Pi 5. This may give you even better performance and take full advantage of the Pi's power. The update announcements itself mention download locations, but it may involve some technical terms. The easiest way to get the update is to check the official Raspberry Pi website or forums for user-friendly guides specific to your Pi model. They often have step-by-step -step instruction and resources to make the process smooth. This update is especially exciting for those using the Raspberry Pi 5 or wanting to explore alternative storage options. If you're happy with your current setup and using an older Raspberry Pi model, you may not need this update right away. The Raspberry Pi community is fantastic and very helpful. If you have any questions or need clarification on any of these features, there are plenty of online forums and communities where you can ask questions and get advice from other Pi enthusiasts. That's it for today, and as always, if you find this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for joining me, and I see you on the next one.